Hi, this is Ray from Shore Station, Antarctica. Now in 2021, April. Today was my day off, so I studied a little bit. What I studied was uh, the movement of the sun. Because uh, just after I came to Antarctica, my brain and my sense was always confused because it was a uh, midnight sun season, so sun was always circling around around me and I was very confused because I maybe I wasn't get used to it so oh, this time I'd like to talk about the movement of the sun so today I solved a very very complicated equation like this it was very hard no I'm just kidding I downloaded it Excel file from NOA NOAA site and made it calculate. I put in a latitude and longitude of short station. So this is a graph of sunset time and sunrise time. This is January 1st. This is end of December. So from the December and uh, from to January, sunset time, sunrise time is not calculated because it is in uh, midnight sun season. So sun is always up in the sky. So there is no sunrise sunset. But after the midnight sun season, we will have sunrise and sunset. And this length is the sunlight duration time so as it goes close to the winter sunlight duration will decrease like this it means sunrise time will be become late and sunset time get early and finally sunlight duration will become zero this is polar night from June to July and after polar night we have sunrise and sunset again and sunrise duration increases and goes to the midnight sunset again so this is the changes throughout the year next let's take a look at solar elevation change in a day so this is 0 a.m. and noon and midnight I put in uh, today's date and made it calculate so the sunrise is about 9 a.m. and sun goes up and around noon Maximal sun elevation is about 7 degrees and afternoon sun goes down and sunset just before 4 yeah just before 4 pm and we have night like this so let's put in a date of January so during the midnight sun season there is no sunrise or sunset so sun elevation sun elevation is always positive because it is always above the horizon and sun goes up and around noon it goes around 40 degree and afternoon sun go down but doesn't go below the horizon because it is midnight sun season. Next, let's put in uh, July. So this is the sun elevation, solar elevation in a day in July 1st. Solar elevation is always negative. 
and the solar elevation goes up but around the room it's still below the horizon and goes down always below the horizon this is polar night next I'd like to show solar azimuth versus elevation angle solar azimuth is north is zero south is 180 east is 90 west is 270 and elevation is this is solar elevation elevation from the horizon degree from the horizon so today is april 28th sunrise at northeast and rises and go up until maybe 7 degree in the afternoon go down and sunset in northeast northwest and sun goes down below the horizon So using this one, I made an image. So this is the image I made with PowerPoint. Now it's autumn. Sun will rise from northeast and goes up and around noon. Solar elevation is maximum at north and goes down in afternoon and sunset in northwest direction after that the sun will go below the horizon and moves like this and again sun will rise this is the solar movement of autumn or spring next we are heading to polar night in polar night sun does not come above the horizon so sun is always below the horizon and this is a solar movement sun is always below the horizon this is polar night and next midnight sun sun is always above the horizon and moving around us and shining us up in the sky so this is the image of solar movement from the midnight sun to polar night. So maybe it was a very basic knowledge, maybe. But uh, just knowing it and experiencing it is completely different, I think. So just after I came to Antarctica, I was always confused about the solar movement. So I did some study and explained. So I hope you have understood or enjoyed and maybe get interested in these kind of things. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.